you talked about the increase in ransomware attacks in the education space has really just skyrocketed. Um, ransomware attacks of all malware attacks is 80% so far. Uh, it was only 48% last year. So that is, again, you know, I feel like this whole webinar, Dave, you and I are talking about big numbers, big change, right? And here's another one. And so um, definitely something that is just a continued challenge. And it's really quite unfortunate that some of the reason that ransomware attacks have increased in the education space is because a malicious actor, I think, looks at targets, right? They look at effort and they look at potential benefit for them. And they say, I can go attack a corporate entity that might have a security IT team of, you know, 10, 15, if not more, and a lot of dollars to spend at that and get a potential payoff. Or I can get attack a public sector, a smaller um, uh, target where the IT team may not be as big and the folks in security may not be as robust because they're doing a lot of things, right? Again, it goes back to su supporting so much technology in that space and doing a critical job. Um, and so they view it as potentially a attack that they might get more um, potential payout and more benefit from. And they also, I think, know that when things become public and in the market, that's a difficult thing for, for districts. So they're really looking at these painful spots, these vulnerabilities, and they're going after them, which is, um, you know, when you're a malicious actor, that's how you think, unfortunately. So I think that's my theory of why we're seeing these attacks continue to increase. And then you layer on, again, more technology um, that's making it more complicated. So um, education was the only sector, though, when you look across the board, the Verizon 2020 uh, breaches report said education was the only sector where more malware was introduced because of websites versus email. Right. We're all well aware now of, of spam and phishing and all that kind of thing. And that's something still to watch and to think about in the education space. That's not the biggest vector in, um, again, something pretty unique to education. So I um, wanted to put that out there for people to think about.